Mike Peden here with Brianna Williams and Nia Coffey from Hopkins, the 4A state champions. Uh, now your story, you were the odds on favorite going back to December to get here. So how did you brush off the thoughts and predictions of Hopkins winning a state title? Well, we didn't listen to what people had to say. We played our game and we knew what we had to do. We didn't listen to other people. And how did you do that? Wait, what was the question again? Sorry. How did you brush off all the speculation of Hopkins winning a state title that started back in December? Well, like Nia said, we didn't listen to people. We just came out and did what we had to do, and we took it to them. Three seconds, when you knew seconds, you were going to play Eden Prairie, how did you prepare for them, having played against them three times? Well, um, we really scouted them hard. We studied their, we studied their game, and we studied ways how we can um, penetrate their defenses and defend them. Well, we knew, we knew them like the back of our hands. We played them so many times, so we just came out and did what we had to do. We knew what each player was going to do, and we tried to take that away from them. And how did you make sure they didn't use those three games uh, against you? You know what? We just came out and played our hardest. We knew that um, they were going to come out hard, so we just tried to um, match their intensity. The coaches told us, don't be nervous, don't be nervous. It's just another game. So I think all of us came out here a little bit nervous, but we knew what we were here to do, and that's what we did. I think if anyone was nervous, it was Nia's dad. I was watching him <laughs> at Press Row. And I asked him what was more nervous, watching this or calling the tournament games on 45. He said this was more nervous. <laughs> but what does it mean to get that championship? This was Hopkins first since 2006. In the last three years, they were shut out by uh, Minneapolis South. Well, this meant so much to us. Um, last year, we didn't end the season how we wanted to, and we made sure that we got here. And it meant a lot to me, especially because I'm a senior, and I finally got <laughs> what I was working so hard for. So it just means a lot, and I couldn't have shared it with a better group of girls. And you mentioned this is your last year. You're heading to North Dakota. How will you use this experience to prepare yourself for the University of North Dakota out west? Well, I'll just know like what it takes to be a champion, so I'll just go to practice every day and work my butt off because I know it will pay off. And Nia, are you going to be watching your dad uh, next week for the boys' tournament on 45? Mm -hmm. I am. I'm going to be fully there supporting him. And uh, what do you think it's going to mean for him knowing that he's going to call a state tournament? Hopkins boys are in it as well, but now that he has his two daughters uh, with a state championship to their credit. You know what? I, I'm pretty sure he's really excited for all of us that we made this achievement. And is there anyone you want to say hi to that might be watching this? Oh, Johnny from Noodles, hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi to the world, whoever's watching it, hey. <laughs> well, the, let the world know Hopkins is the 2011 state champions. Congratulations and thank you on uh, taking the time to speak with us. Well-deserved win. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Nia Coffey and Brianna Williams of Hopkins.